Hey everybody, it's a Glider Cat and it's time to play. Now, as regulars of the Glider Cat channel already know, I research literally hundreds of games each and every month looking for the hidden gems and underrated games that many people haven't heard about. I love getting the word out about these amazing games as quickly as I can. And this top upcoming PC game series is where I provide you with a quick look at five of the games I've recently discovered through my research. Now in this series, I include games that are either in early access now, or oftentimes games that haven't even made it that far yet. And for those games that are not yet generally available to the public, I'll also let you know if there are ways you can gain early access and get a chance to play them yourself, be it a playtest program, closed beta, or some other avenue. The theme for this edition, volume two, is factory automation. So we'll be looking at five upcoming games that fall into that general category or genre. I should note that some of the games in this edition have already been featured on the Glider Cat channel in past videos, but there's at least one game that I know you haven't seen here before. Let's go ahead and get started. First on our list is Astro Colony, and it's a space colony builder where you build a large movable space station and set up autonomous mining colonies on several planets. It's being developed by Tered Games, I think I'm pronouncing that right, and it's coming off a very successful Kickstarter campaign uh, that just finished not too long ago at the uh, time of this recording. The description on Steam says, Explore an endless universe and create the most efficient constellation of colonies. Build conveyor systems to automate production, take care of astronauts and their needs, and establish new colonies as part of an intergalactic simulation. So that's what it says on Steam, but there is so much more to this game than what is written there. Uh, the developer provided me with access to an early demo of Astro Colony a few weeks back. And while the demo was very, very limited, it looked and played great. And I don't know if that demo is being made available to everyone just yet. At the time I played it, it was uh, one of the perks associated with donating to their Kickstarter campaign that I mentioned earlier. I'll put a link to the game's Discord in the description of this video so you can hop on there if you like and get the latest information about both the game and the demo and see uh, what you need to do to get access. I'm guessing there's a way to get access to that demo, but uh, check on the Discord and see what they say. Now the release date on Steam for Astro Colony simply shows 2022, so we'll have to just wait and see if that becomes a bit more specific as we close out this current year, which is 2021. With a functional demo and a successful Kickstarter campaign under their belt, I think Astro Colony is on firm footing to make its way to release. Uh, if you want to learn more about Astro Colony, again, check out some of the other videos uh, featuring the game that I've got here on the Glider Cat channel. I've got a playthrough of that demo that I mentioned, and I've also got a first look video as well that you can check out that talks about the game. Now, as I can get access to newer versions of the game, expect to see more content on the Glider Cat channel. I really enjoy playing Astro Colony. Uh, if you like factory and automation games set in space, I think you're going to love what you see in Astro Colony. And like every game on this list, you can hop on Steam right now if you want and add it to your wish list and follow it to keep up with its developments. That's what I'm going to be doing. And again, I put a few links in the description where you can find out more information about it. So yes, Astro Colony, very, very cool game. Check this one out. Next, it's Captain of Industry and frequent viewers of the Glider Cat channel will already know a lot about this game. It's being developed by Mafi Games, and I believe the Mafi is an abbreviated contraction of the two developers' names, Marek and Philippe. So please forgive my pronunciation if I've got that terribly wrong, but I think that's right. Mafi Games. Captain of Industry, like Astro Colony, is also coming off a very successful Kickstarter campaign, and it has a very strong team of developers behind it. I think it's just uh, two main developers. The Steam description for the game says, Captain of Industry is a factory construction and management simulator Alone with your loyal crew, expand a small colony of survivors into an industrial empire. Start from an abandoned island and build vast factories, research labs, and even a space program. Build, mine, farm, shape terrain, explore, and take care of your settlement. I've been following developments on Captain of Industry for many, many months now, uh, and several weeks ago, I was fortunate enough to play an early alpha version of the game. 
I've got about 30 hours into the game so far, and I can't recall experiencing a single bug, which I think is pretty remarkable for a game this early in its development. Uh, it's clear to me that they're baking the quality in right from the start, so that is very, very cool and not always the case with these really, really early games and demos. Now, the very early version of the game that I played, the I think it was like the first alpha, uh, likely contained less than half of the content that they've got planned for this game. And it's no exaggeration to say that what was in that very early version of the game was simply fantastic. I mean, it, it, it almost felt like a fully completed game. Like there's plenty of gameplay in there. Very, very cool. Now, at the time of this recording, the team developing Captain of Industry is very close to entering their closed alpha release, which is slated for sometime in September 2021. Uh, from what I've seen and heard about it, there is a ton of new content coming with this closed alpha release. And I'm super excited with the pace at which the game is being developed. I'm equally excited with the things that are in the game's roadmap and still yet to come. You can get some information about that on the website. I'll put a link to that. Now, as you might expect by the presence of the word closed, the upcoming closed alpha will be limited to contributors of the game. I'll put a link to the official website for Captain of Industry in the description, and there you can find out uh, more information about the game and what you need to do in order to get early, early access, if that's something you're interested in. And if you want to see more of the actual gameplay, there are two Let's Play seasons of Captain of Industry already available here on the GliderCat channel, along with an early preview video that I posted way back in early April of 2021 when I first discovered the game. So you can check those out if you like, and I have no doubt that I'll be posting more Let's Plays of Captain of Industry as fresh new content is made available and I can get my hands on it. If you like what you see, then I highly recommend Captain of Industry as an addition to your wish list. It is very near the top of my list of games I'm excited about here in 2021. So definitely check that one out as well. Next up, it's Cyber Factories, and this is another factory automation slash colony builder. Uh, with a very unique art style, as you can see here. It's being developed by Knapper. I think I've got that pronounced right. And I'm pretty sure it has just a single developer behind it. I should mention at the top that at the time of this recording, there is a free demo available on Steam that you can download and try out. That's always very cool. So I encourage you to go check that out if you like what you see here. Now, the Steam description for Cyber Factories reads as follows. Cyber Factories is an automation and base building game in a cyberpunk universe. You lead a small colony of human remnants. Help them to survive, expand, and gather enough resources to leave Earth for their new home planet. Now, I played the Cyber Factories demo a few months ago, and while it was very, very short, I enjoyed it, and I can see the potential in this game. As I mentioned, there's a single developer behind the game, and I don't believe that person is working on it full-time, so I expect progress on this one to be a bit slower than maybe the others featured in the video. Uh, that said, I do visit the game's Discord server periodically, and there have been some recent updates and activity from the developer, so that's very good to see. The game is still moving forward, just maybe not as fast as the others. Now, there currently is no release date specified for Cyber Factories on Steam, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. It's kind of a TBD. I will say that I'm quite intrigued by the game, and I intend to follow it as it works its way towards early access. Uh, in a lot of ways, as you can see, it looks very, very simple on the surface, but I did have a ton of fun playing the very short demo. And again, I can see the potential for this game to become something really quite fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it gets developed. Now, as soon as I can get access to the full game or an early build or an enhanced demo, you can expect to see some new content here on the channel featuring Cyber Factories. It's a game I, again, I'm keeping my eye on. I think it's very cool and unique. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more gameplay footage, you can check out the Cyber Factory's early preview video I did and posted back in June of 2021. Or better yet, you can just head over to Steam and give the demo a spin for yourself if it's still available, and uh, maybe wishlist and follow it there if it's a game that you think you might be interested in. All right, that brings us to Factory Magnate, which is being developed by Rising Tail. And like some of the other games appearing on this list, this one is also being developed by a single developer. Now, each of the other games on this list have already been on the GliderCat channel in some form or fashion, but Factory Magnate has not, so this is its first appearance. I discovered this game way back in January of 2021, and I've been following it ever since. Uh, the Steam description says, 
In Factory Magnate, you build factories to satisfy the ever-growing demands of the local population. Mine resources, design production lines, produce and sell products, and invest your profits to expand your business empire. That's the Steam description. And as I mentioned, I've been following this game for a pretty long time, and I've chatted with the developer on several occasions uh, along the way. I'm always asking if he could provide me with an early dev build or some early gameplay footage, but so far he's declined. I think the reason for that lies in the fact that the game is truly very early in its development and many of the core systems are only just now beginning to take shape. So I think if, if I was granted an early demo, say three or four months ago, um, most of that content has been, you know, kind of deprecated by now. It's really gone through some change recently. Uh, as I followed the game, the, its UI and the overall art style, for example, have gone through a couple of evolutions, as has the core game loop. Um, just recently, the whole kind of investing your profits and business side uh, aspects of the game have really um, begun to get defined and, and take shape. So that's all very cool. Now, I'm intrigued by the game and how it's been taking shape recently. So I'm hoping to put together a factory magnate early preview video at some point in the near future where we can cover the game in a bit more detail. Uh, with any luck, I can get access to an early version of the game before too long and get working on that. Now, the release date on Steam is simply indicated as the year 2022. I should mention again, however, that there's been a significant uptick in the development momentum on the game during the past several weeks. Again, I'm really anxious to play Factory Magnate, and if it looks interesting to you, you can hop on Steam, wishlist it, and follow it. And then uh, stay tuned to the GliderCat channel, as I hope to be featuring some more Factory Magnate content in the very near future. And last up, it's Junk Punk, which is being developed by C Corp Technologies or SCT. I recently posted an early preview video for this one, so I'll include a link to that in the description in case you want to take a little closer look at it. The developers state Junk Punk is a survival base building game where a New World Robotics ship has crash landed. You and any other survivors must clean this ruined planet and prepare it for habitable life. It will be a long journey, but worth the transformation. Plans are for the game to support up to five players in multiplayer, but you'll also be able to enjoy the game uh, in single player as well. A loner with friends, you'll be cleaning up a junk riddled planet, harvesting and refining resources and leveraging both machines and automation to assist you in your task. So if you like automation games and you like the cyberpunk visual aesthetic, then this game is likely right up your alley. Like some of the other games in this volume, there is no target date for Junk Punk specified in Steam as of yet. And I believe Junk Punk may just be uh, among the earliest in its development of all the games that we've just seen in this video. However, I believe it may have the largest and most experienced team of them all behind it as well. That bodes well for its prospects in successfully making it to and through early access. Now. Junk Punk is a very recent discovery for me, and I've only been following the game for about two weeks at the time of posting this video. So to be honest, I don't yet know a whole lot about it. That said, the gameplay footage I have seen, some of which you're watching right now, just looks really great to me. I think you'll agree that it all looks very, very cool. And that, coupled with the presence of what I believe to be a strong development team behind it, again, has me very excited about the prospects for Junk Punk. As with the other games featured in this video, I'll be following the development of Junk Punk very, very closely in the weeks and months to come. And as soon as I can get my hands on a playable version, uh, you can expect to see some more Junk Punk videos show up on the Gladder Cat channel. It just it looks really cool. Was excited when I first saw it, and uh, like all the vid all the uh, games we talked about, you can hop on Steam. They've got a store page set up. And you can wish list and follow this game if it's something you think you'd be interested in and just keep tabs on the development i'll definitely be doing that so if you're subscribed to the glider cat channel um you can expect to see updates from me as well on this game it's just one i'm really excited about all right those are the games for this edition of our top upcoming pc game series we just looked at five upcoming games i've been tracking which loosely fall into the factory automation genre and that i thought you might like to have on your radar each of the games we covered is listed on Steam, so you can wishlist and follow them there to keep on top of their news and ongoing development. As I mentioned earlier in the video, depending on when you're watching this, there still may be ways for you to gain early access to both Astro Colony 
and Captain of Industry. So be sure to check out the links in the description to learn more about those opportunities. Both very, very cool games. I've played them both. They're awesome. Also, I plan to post additional videos featuring the games we talked about in the near future. So if you haven't already, then make sure you're subscribed to the Gladder Cat channel so you don't miss out on those. In fact, I'm super excited for the chance to play the closed alpha of Captain of Industry, and that's on the verge of being released as I record this. Uh, so you can expect to see a new Let's Play series for that. I'm also very, very, very eager to get my hands on Factory Magnate and put together some videos for that game as well. So again, you might want to subscribe so you don't miss out on those cool new videos of some cool new games. Now, for a somewhat deeper look into upcoming games like the ones featured in this video, I highly recommend checking out my first look playlist. I recommend it all the time. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description and there's just a ton of awesome games in there that you can learn about. Uh, I think you'll find something you like. And that's it. For now, this is Gladdercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this content and I'll see you in the next one.